What's going on guys? The last time you saw my car, we were at the racetrack and we kind of had that little spillage, that leak, whatever, whatever happened with it. This is just a little update for you guys to let you know what's going on and what I'm going to do to fix it. So to start off, I started draining the coolant. After that was done draining, I went, I took the radiator hose off and I took that little hose off the bottom of that, uh, I don't even know what you guys want to call that. That's like the upper, upper radiator hose coolant thing. I don't know what it's called. Took those hoses off. After I took those hoses off, then we went just to take the two bolts off. Super simple. One, two, one on the top, one on the bottom. Take that off. Boom, we got the piece off. This is the piece I'm talking about. This is where, you know, when it's in the car, you're looking at it like this. So this is where your upper radiator hose goes. And you see this hose on the bottom right here? That's where I sprung my leak. So I'll give you guys a close up. This is what we did to fix it temporarily. We just kind of looped the hose on it. And um, this coolant port right here, it blew a vacuum cap off of here. Which, let me say, one of my buddies told me why was I running the vacuum cap, uh, vacuum cap on this cool port, listen, this thing held up for what, two events, all the races I was doing, all, not the races, the pulls I was doing on the street. So you know what, my response to him, why was I using it? Because it worked, right? Obviously it didn't work that long. So we're gonna really fix this the right way. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Look, I'm pretty sure if I was to leave it like this, just looped with a, with a proper hose, this is just a hose we found. I bet you it'd be good. But I mean, I like things done a certain way. So I'm actually gonna send this to a shop, one of my buddies, Top Secret. This is the shop who we got the car dyno tuned at. He's just gonna throw a couple welds in these little ports. I'll take this hose off for you so you guys can see, but he's just gonna probably weld this up for me, make it permanently shut because I don't I don't use those ports anymore. Those ports were for uh, like when you had the factory throttle body to uh, on cold starts to help warm up the idle air control valve and all that. I don't use that anymore. So let me, let me take this hose off for you guys so you can see. Actually, before I forget, I have to send him a picture of this. So uh, he can let me know how much it is. So we'll just wait for him to get back to me and we'll see how much. But these are, like I said, this is the port right here that sprung the leak. So I just had a little vacuum cap, started pissing, they kicked me off the track. And there's another one on the back of here too, which is another hose. It's like I said, you could probably run a hose on it, use a good zip tie, zip tie it shut, you'll be fine, but I just, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'd rather just have it welded shut, boom, out of my hair. Another issue I was having with this car, like I told you guys in that last video, it was breaking up. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pull my plugs. I wanna look at the plugs. I have a spare set I'm probably just gonna throw in there. I wanna see what if I can see anything. Maybe one of them wasn't firing right. I'm not sure. It wasn't giving me a misfire, but maybe there's something going on with them. So I just wanna look at them real quick and see what's going on.
So here I have the plugs in order from one to four. And to be honest with you, number one looks wet. And that could be running a little rich, maybe. But these other three don't look that bad. I mean, they got a little crusty, which maybe it's, it, these other three cylinders are running a little lean. I mean, the color is good. You want the golden brown color. This one, this one's wet. But, I mean, I wouldn't say that these plugs are bad. They're not fouled. So I'm not really sure if this is what's causing that, uh, that like breaking up at higher RPM that I was getting. I'm not really sure. I mean, if you guys, somebody else in the comments has more experience with reading these, let me know. But be straight up with you, they don't look that bad. I'll check the gap on them just to make sure the gap is still good, but they look all right to me. One thing I wanna ask you guys though, is if you can in the comments, if you're running like a K24, K20 setup, what plugs are you running? Are you still running Iridium plugs or are you switching to copper or are you going to maybe a, a higher heat range if you're running high compression? Uh, I'm toying, not toying with the idea, but I'm unsure if I should be running these uh, Iridium plugs. These are the factory Iridium plugs that, you know, the RSX calls for. And uh, obviously the compression is bumped up. It's 12 and a half to one. And um, I'm not, I've been told that I should probably go to a copper plug because it'll, one, it'll burn better. They're not that expensive, so they wear out quicker, So, but they're not expensive, so you could just keep changing them up each event. And I'm just, I'm just not sure. So can you guys leave in the comments, what, what plugs are you running? What's your setup and what plugs are you running? And if one of you guys have more experience with this, let me know what I should be running because for some reason, I feel like I shouldn't be running these Iridiums. I could be wrong though. And these are at the factory gap too. Maybe I need to close the gap on these a little tighter. I don't know. Let me know guys. Cause with, with plugs, I'm not really too, like too sure with them. Like I could, I mean, I know when I see a bad plug with those, they don't look that bad to me at all. But if you guys can leave it in the comments, let me know that helped me out a lot. Just a quick update of what's going on with the car right now, guys. You know, I'm going to leave this in your hands. You know, I'm going to try to um, pretty much upload this as quick as I can. I really want to know what you guys want to say about the plug. So please, if you can, just really give me like a straight up answer and like real answers because <laughs> I'll just, I, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to put it out there. I'm getting so many hate comments on my K24 fully built video when I built it about when I said uh, JDM, Chinese food or whatever. I mean, you guys think that's a heart. That was just a skit. I was just playing around. But um, if you can, leave me some real comments in this video because I really want to figure out what I'm doing or what I should do with these plugs. Uh, we're going to get this piece welded up. And I should be racing this weekend at English Town again. It should be my last event. I think that that is like the last event for English Town for like bracket racing. It's going to be Street Wars. It's it's street wars it's the what the event is called it's like evo versus sti day and then they have some other bracket races so i'll be there you know it shouldn't take that long to get this piece welded put, maybe put some plugs in i really want to see what you guys have to say if you have like uh some more in-depth information you guys want to let me know just send me a, a dm on my instagram my instagram is at the end card of this video dc5 surge send me a message let me know what you guys think i should be doing i really appreciate that if you guys are in new jersey Go to English Town, man. You guys can catch me there. I'll be there at my last event. I'll be racing. I'm pretty much going to go balls to the walls. So I'm going to give it everything I got. Make sure I got no leaks this time. I'm going to go there. I want to make sure I can get as far as I can. Meet a couple of you guys. Once that event is over, we got some plans for the winter to really make this car over, guys. If you guys enjoyed this little quick update video, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers I've been getting. I really appreciate it all, guys. And I, you know, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay motivated and keep making these streets louder.